Welcome to Oogies! <laughs> yes, greetings and welcome, fellow cogs, to Oogie Boogie Bash here in Disney California Adventure. Halloween is my favorite time of year, so I'm bringing you along to trick or treat and meet and greet with the Disney villains. We've got a lot of ground to cover, and the midnight hour is close at hand. So without further delay, let's head and dead outside. Now admittedly, this was my first Oogie Boogie Bash, so I didn't go in with a specific game plan. My top priority was Oogie Boogie himself, since he's my all-time favorite villain. But I learned very quickly that the villains take breaks, which meant I'd have to circle back around to see Oogie. Luckily, Madame Mim was out in full force, and she was great. This year was her grand debut, and she didn't disappoint. I would have loved more time with her, but these interactions are brief. Cast members keep the line constantly moving, so the meet and greets are more like high and buys. Cruella DeVille was a double whammy since they ran out of candy in a couple places in her line, plus she was on break. And even without candy, they kept the line moving, but Cruella made it back just as I was passing the stage. Next up was the one and only Agatha Harkness, and all I can say is she stole the show from me. I love getting to riff with the villains, and her reaction when I bowed was hysterical. She was definitely one of my favorite interactions of the night. And then there was Sid. I'm not sure what else to say about him other than he's just Sid. Maybe I'm biased since the Incredicoaster is my favorite DCA attraction, but I'd much rather see Syndrome. Sid's kind of mid as far as villains go. Mother Gothel was another new addition to the villain lineup this year, and she was flawless. What really stood out to me was how good she was with the kids. Like, she's a villain, and she had them eating out of the palm of her hand. I guess that's why Mother knows best, am I right? At this point in the evening, I was just over halfway through the Villains, so I thought I'd take a break from the long lines and check out Villains Grove. I was wrong. The wait for Villains Grove can be exceptionally long, but just like the meet and greets, the line keeps moving forward. Like I said earlier, this was my first time attending Oogie Boogie Bash. I normally do Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party in Walt Disney World. And even though I really didn't have a method of attack for what I wanted to do, it's important to point out it's impossible to do everything. You really need to prioritize what matters most to you. For me, it was villains. For others, it may be entertainment offerings. Personally, I think Magic Kingdom offers better entertainment between a parade, stage show, and fireworks. Still, what DCA lacks in entertainment, it makes up for an atmosphere. While Villains Grove is exclusive to the event, you can still enjoy other themed areas of the park all season long. Just some food for thought. After taking a breather in Villains Grove, I had just four villains left to spot, the first being Maleficent. Now, of course, I had to bow to the Queen of Darkness, but in typical Maleficent fashion, she seemed unfazed. Then there was Dr. Facilier, who was called to the other side just as I made it to the front of the line. I debated getting back in line and hoping I'd have better luck, but time was running out, so I decided to press on. Our third and final new addition to the villain lineup was Ernesto de la Cruz. He was the fan favorite, and for good reason. But just like the rest of the villains, we had to keep moving. Be that as it may, if there was one villain you didn't want to miss, it was Ernesto. Finally, after paying a visit to each of the villains, it was time to meet our master of ceremonies himself, Mr. Oogie Boogie. So, you are all ticket to the queen. Well, we do have a few treats, Mark. The <laughs> oh, 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 look at that outfit! It's awful, dreadful, horrible, and I mean that as a compliment. Thanks for having us, Oogie. It was a wicked time. And with that, my friends, our Halloween adventure has come to an end. I certainly hope you enjoyed this video and that it finds you well. Season Screamings! And until next time, I'll see you real soon. Oh, and for the record, Ant-Man gives the best candy.